So traveling back and forth. I mean, so to give an example, we moved Teddy Riley's studio from from Florida to um, to uh, Georgia, right? Because when Harvey Austin he moved from Georgia, so we actually moved the studio and set it up. Uh, wow. Up in, up in Georgia, so and Harvey wow. was a character. I'm telling you. I mean, wow. Harvey, you knew when Harvey spoke. I mean, I, I got to do my. Everybody has to have a Harvey imitation. He, yeah. he couldn't say a he couldn't say a sentence without cursing. I'm not gonna do that, but his yeah. voice was yeah. like this. He was like, "Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. got yeah. some kicking now." <laughs> Good time. Good time. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is a blast, a blast from the past. And thank you for that information, Sean. So as we move along, yes. let's talk about this new single, Say Yes. Uh, what's the story behind the music? So Say Yes, to me, so again, live in the Washington metropolitan area without being a part of the culture of go-go music. And um, like I said, so I, I mean, I played with in practice with – um, Little Benny and the Masters back in the days, and, and several others, right? When you look at, uh, like, with Peaches, who she actually sang at my wedding, and she sang with um, Chuck Brown and the like. So when you look at what I wanted to do was say, okay, uh, right now, I don't know if you, if you heard, now Go-Go is actually uh, a category for Grammy. So I said, you know what? Wow. It would be interesting if I could, if I could write a write a, a smooth jazz song, but blending smooth jazz and go go, uh, in a way where it stays within its genre, but at the same time just turns into a fun track. Um, yeah. That's when I got my buddy, my buddy I grew up with, Mike Cullen Johnson. We we were in multiple bands together, so it was kind of cool. Gave me the opportunity to have him come over to the studio, and and uh, he did he played all the percussions on the track and. It was just fun. To me, it's just a fun track. The goal is to, you know, it, it had gave me the opportunity to go back to my roots. Back in the days when we ran our production company, we had to write all types of music. as a hip-hop, pop, yeah. gospel, you name it. So I, I got to, uh, on that track, I'm doing all the vocals. Yeah. Including the rapping. Of, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. It is a fun so track. Fun stuff. Yeah. So we're going to stop yapping, and I'm going to go ahead and spin Say Yes, featuring Michael Cullen Johnson, everyone. You stay in that hot seat, Sean. We'll be right back.
invitation. All we need is a conversation. But in the meantime, and in between time, you work your thing and I work mine. S A Y Y E S, baby. When you walk by, you know it's driving me crazy. Shake, shake, shake it to the left, hit the right. The way you fit them jeans, girl. afternoon That's everyone right. that is by sean kingsbury everyone and sean go ahead and give your website information social media info and where this music is streaming at you bet so my website is kingsburymusic.com that k-i-n-g-s-b-e-r-r-y-m-u-s-i-c.com uh, you can, uh, yeah, I'm also, um, pretty active in, on Facebook and, um, again, it's, uh, on Facebook, it's also Sean Kingsbury. Again, that's S-H-A-W-N space Kingsbury, K-I-N-G-S-B-E-R-R-Y. Uh, also on Twitter, that's S Kings B, S K I N G S B E, uh, at, uh, at, on Twitter. Uh, and my music is streaming pretty much everywhere. So it's streaming on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Deezer, uh, you name it. Every every um, it's on Pandora. Uh, whatever whatever is your flavor, I'm there. And I say I'm always looking to connect with people. And what I like to do is if I can connect with folks uh, to hear to hear what you're interested in, because what I try and do also is write music based on uh, recommendations from my fans. So if you're interested in something, you know, you hit me up. And also, uh, I'll, I also try and provide um, uh, my fans with uh, music that I haven't released yet, right? So some music that's in the works. And I'm working to have a special area on my website. I haven't added that yet. So we can have, if you're a member uh, as a part of my fan club, we give you special access to, to actually get some behind-the-scenes music that's currently being planned. So a lot of fun stuff uh, queued up. All right. Thank you for that information. Wow. So the future music projects are to come. Uh, can you tease us and let us know where at in this year or is it next year? Well, actually, now, now that's another very good <laughs> question, right, when you say what's coming. So I got short term, right? So right now I'm actually um, I'm actually I have a collaboration going with Blair Bryant, which was a phenomenal bass player, and mm-hmm. he's uh, um, well, I, I'll, I'll have a song on his upcoming album, and that'll be coming out uh, first quarter this year, which is awesome. And I mean Blair is phenomenal. I don't know if you've looked him up. Check out Blair Bryant. He's a phenomenal bass player, all around musician. Um, okay. But in parallel, you know, kind of coming to what we talked about when um, we first started our conversation, which was, you know, when you look at what's going on uh, from a COVID perspective, you mm-hmm. know, kind of, you know, I, I, it was it was kind of interesting. Early in the the outbreak, I got a false positive. I got a real positive uh, uh, recently with COVID, but it's a it's completely different now that we have I'm fully vaxxed and boosted and the like mm-hmm. versus prior when you, you go all the way back to like April, right? Which before there was vaccines yeah. and boosters. Yeah. You know, and I got this, I got, I got this, this, you know, the, the deal came back as positive. And I was like, well, I don't, I don't think that I'm actually positive. I said, because yeah. no one else in my house was, but, I had to quarantine, and something interesting yeah. happened. 
What? You start to say what if. What if? Yeah. Right? You know? Yeah. And, yeah. And I, it got me thinking while I was quarantined. And I said, well, you know, there's a couple of things I always wanted to do. I always wanted to bridge the gap between technology and music because my other life is I'm also heavily I'm in the technology. Yeah. Um, and what I always wanted to do was bridge those worlds. And I never done that. So what came out of, you know, there's blessings that comes out of risk. Um, what I came up with is I'm actually going to start, I'm going to launch my own music service. It'll probably uh, happen over the next year or so. Right. But it's what I'm doing is, um, you know, we learned something when COVID hit, which is, you know, music is a team sport. Right. Um, you know, you, in most cases, you need to collaborate. If it's a label or what have you, they have to collaborate. And you start to say, well, what are the opportunities to leverage technology today to be able to bring people together in ways without having to actually travel as much? So um, and so, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm creating a service, which I'm calling Lifecycle 360, right, which is going to really take um, people through the life cycle of, mu- of the music creation and release process, um, but, but turning it into what I'm considering to be the, the Uber of music, where it doesn't matter if someone's in, in Germany or someone, and, so, and someone else is in California and someone else is in Kensington, Maryland. I could bring them all together without spending a bunch of money virtually with zero loss in quality and yeah. the ability to collaborate and turn into the Uber of music so you can connect to a professional network, right? So now you can yeah. see who's available to join this project, right? But yeah. then protect the rights. You know, how do, how do you now right. protect the rights of folks to ensure that music is copyrighted and secured? So taking them through the life cycle of the music creation and release process. And this isn't just going to be for um, amateurs. This is for um, professional um, uh, artists as well to be able to be a part of this where they can now collaborate securely and Mm -hmm. to be able to collaborate with people in ways that you can't today. And when you look at the, the, the few services that exist to do this today, it's limitations. Yeah. My goal is to make sure there's no limitations in quality there's no limitations in who you can connect with, and you have real-time ability to be able to collaborate, record, and share, and just support the music industry, right? Just keep the, yeah. keep, keep the vibe going. Well, Sean, I hope the success out of this uh, program uh, does flourish. I'll be watching you and uh, congratulate you on it, on the success of it all. And uh, I hope you the best of luck through it. And uh, you stay healthy now. You stay healthy. Um, usually when you have those the, those tests uh, for the uh, COVID-19 or the Omicron uh, variant and stuff like that, just remember, just because if you feel okay, you don't know if you're a carrier that might affect someone else differently. So it's good that yep. you are, are quarantined, you know. So... Yep. You have to think uh, way out outside the line like that. So uh, you take care of yourself. I'll be uh, keeping in touch with you. I'll be bugging you to see how you're doing. You know what I'm saying? We need you out here. 